Put your hands together right now for Zara Neuerbox, everybody. Hey, Muslims, make some noise. I like, I, I usually identify myself as the pork eating, alcohol drinking, premarital sex having kind of Muslim right away. <laughs> Just a, yeah, pork eaters in the house. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> like, I, I think, uh, I feel like the last time I performed in front of this many Muslims was back when I was Muslim. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> I am a feminist Muslim Iranian American comedian. How are you? <laughs> feminist in the house. Iranian people get scared by that. I like to have fun with it. I like to sit in the front row of classes, nuclear physics classes, and say, Excuse me, um, professor. <laughs> this uh, plutonium. <laughs> Do you find that on like the Craigslist? <laughs> So saturated sometimes hearing just like Muslim, 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 Muslim on television. Like sometimes I'm just like, you know what? I feel like Persians had it right. Are there any Persians in the crowd at all? Yeah. One, two, okay. <laughs> two Persians. Uh, well, you know why? It's because our uh, traditional form of music is not present. House music. <laughs> DJ Doctor. <laughs> I had this guy come up to me the other day and he like handed me a flyer, like right out here. And he was like, hey, come to my show, DJ Doctor. And I was like, wow, this guy integrated his art with his parents' expectations. <laughs> he paved the way for DJ Engineer, <laughs> DJ Attorney at Law, <laughs> DJ Chiropractic, but I have my own practice. I write everything off. <laughs> out of that man i feel like persians figured it out like during the iranian hostage crisis people would be like are you iranian and say oh no i'm persian <laughs> <laughs> i don't know what that is <laughs> that sounds very bad <laughs> do you like to dance <laughs> do you like to party <laughs> these are my prodigies baby what's going on <laughs> Uh, I, like, I had a guy come up to me the other day. What's a Persian? What's an Iranian? Why do you have two things? What's a Persian? What's an Iranian? I'm just one thing. I'm just one thing. I'm just an asshole. <laughs> and that's true about that guy. <laughs> Persians, like the distinction, Persian is like connection to your cultural heritage and Persians are like, hey, you like to dance? You like to party? These are my brother shoes, baby. What's going on? <laughs> and Iranians, it's like a connection to your like cultural, but patriot patriot identity. You know, Iranians are like, hey, do you like to dance? <laughs> These are my brother shoes, baby. What's going on? And that's the difference between a Persian <laughs> and an Iranian. <laughs> Broke it down. <laughs> Tell you guys a little bit about my dad. My dad's two favorite words in the English language are the shit and the hell. The shit and the hell. What the shit the hell is this? Zahra? What the shit the hell is this? First generationers in the house? Yeah? You don't come home with an A minus, right? You don't come home with an A minus. Like, my dad would be like, I did not escape a revolution and swim the Atlantic and kiss the feet of the Statue of Liberty for you to get an A minus in sixth grade math. I'd bring him an A minus. What the shit the hell is this? Sir? A minus? Minus? So I'd go, I would study, I'd bring him the A. What the shit the hell is this? Sir? Why it's not the A plus? So I would go, I would study, I'd bring him the A plus. What the shit the hell is this? Sir? Why you take such an easy class? <laughs> So uh, when I introduced my dad to uh, my atheist infidel pilgrim white husband, <laughs> he said, what the shit the hell is this? 
what the atheist? My dad didn't know what an atheist was. He didn't know what an atheist was because I found out, or at least my dad told me on behalf of all Iranians, my dad said, there's no word for atheist. There's just seven slurs. <laughs> he who saw God then denied it. He who saw God and then was like, oh, I, don't, I don't care. And then told other people, you shouldn't care either. And then he who saw God and then did that many times. Times 10, times 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Very bad man. And so I tried to explain to him, you know, like, oh, he, he's, He's atheist, he, he, he doesn't believe in like a God, God, you know, and my dad was like, what does he believe? You know, I said, he believes in science, and he was like, you mean like that Tom Cruise shit? <laughs> <laughs> and then my dad was like, tell him to convert, man, tell him to convert. And my mom was like, is he circumcised? <laughs> and she was like, I hope he is Jewish because no man is going to go through that with me, for you. No man will do that for you. Is he circumcised? Uh, and uh, I just, I said, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have not known for so many years, Mom. <laughs> and uh, my dad was like trying to understand. He was like, you know, he thought atheist was like some kind of Christian, right? <laughs> not exactly. And he was like, you know, Christian, Muslim, Jewish, we all believe in the same damn shit, man, okay? We all believe in the same damn shit. We believe in one God. We surrender to that God. That is a Muslim. <laughs> right? And I was like, maybe I could just leave it at that. <laughs> and call it a day. Like, Muslim, like, it just, the, the name just continues to change meaning. You know what I mean? Like, back in 2008, you guys remember when that, like, crazy blonde woman was like, I think, I think, I think Obama's an Arab. <laughs> But like she wanted to say Muslim like it was a curse word, right? I think he's a Muslim. I think he's a Muslim. Like it's an accusation. Are you Muslim? Are you Muslim? You know, five times a day. <laughs> <laughs> and like people say that like, oh, Muslim is the new black because you can wear racism with anything. But <laughs> I actually think that Muslim is like, you know, the new gay. Islam is a new game. It's like we have Islamophobia, there's homophobia. And like when Obama was running, right, people were like, we think he was Muslim in college. <laughs> we don't know how Muslim he got. He sort of experimented with Islam in college. And he's not Muslim now, but he could go Muslim again. If he's in Congress. Is the Muslim gonna spread? Other people are gonna be like, maybe I wanna be Muslim. <laughs> and it's like the meaning just changes, right? So for a minute there, I just thought like, hmm, maybe we could just stop right here with my pilgrim man. I feel like, I, I, have a, I have a white man. I'm very happy with my white man. I think everyone should own a white guy. <laughs> very happy with him. Bank loans. Bees, just bring him in there. I feel like white guys are like the golden retrievers of the dog park, you know? <laughs> hey, what's going on? Hey. I'm just here to help. I'm just here to help. I'm just here to play. Just want to catch a ball. Hey, what's going on? I just want to make a friend. One of you, one of you, one of you, one of you, one of you. And my dad finally said, my dad said, you know, what, like, what does he believe? And I said, he does not believe in a God. He believes that we have religion due to the lack of a real economic infrastructure. And he goes, and he thinks for a minute, and he says, does he believe in a gravity? <laughs> and I was like, what? come on, I mean, I, the, yes? And he's, he's like, come on, does he believe in a gravity? Is gravity greater than a Duncan? I don't know, maybe it is not. Maybe he's like, I'm the Duncan. I'm the only damn shit in the whole damn universe. Everything revolves around the Duncan. Is that what he believes? Okay, so he believes in a gravity? 
there's a force greater than himself. He cannot change it. He surrenders to that force. He's a Muslim. <laughs> so welcome to the religion of Islam, the rest of you. It's a wild and grounding ride. Thank you guys for having me. Yes! We're doing it!